Introduction to Metal Joining Metal Joining Many times it is difficult to carry out machining process or fabrication of some parts or products as one single piece. For example, the part shown here cannot be produced on a lathe. In such cases, the process of metal joining is undertaken to produce the final part of product. The parts are first fabricated, and these fabricated parts are then joined by heating them closer to their melting points, as a common practice. However, in some cases joining of parts also happen with no application of heat, such as bolts and nuts. This too is a joining process. Metal joining process is widely used in automotive, aerospace, shipbuilding, industrial equipments and machineries, construction industries etc. Typically, we can classify metal joining in two distinct parts. Permanent joint. These includes joining processes such as welding, brazing, soldering. In all permanent metal joining processes, Heat is applied for the purpose of joining metal parts, except for the process called riveting, this is a process which gives permanent joint but here the use of force is applied rather heat, temporary joints. These includes joining processes such as, bolting, screwing, clamping, adhesive bonding. Note. Temporary joining process of metal parts, do not require heat for the purpose of joining metal parts. Riveting. Commonly used in automotive, aerospace, construction, shipbuilding and other such industries. A rivet is similar to a fastener, having smooth cylindrical body, and head at one end. Riveting is a process, which is carried out to join parts, by using rivets and applying force through riveting machines. Note. This process is carried when joining of two parts are not feasible by bolting or welding. Riveting is mostly done for joining of low thickness sheet metal or aluminum parts. To know more, sign up to www.linksy.in.